Alright, hey guys, got uh, my intake valve done, two screwdrivers as you can see, almost got the exhaust done, and uh, the swap should be done here shortly, just to let y'all know, had some requests before asking or saying, and I put it back in with a, with a screwdriver, if you check out my uh, other vid, with uh, how to remove valves with the screwdriver, like the keepers. But, uh, alright. So I figured I'd do a video on it while I'm doing this motor. It's already been home. I'll show that. Post that. It's a little tricky though, with one hand first. And there she is. Done. Got to uh, correct that spring, but over and other than that, guys, she's done. Do what I did before. See, that's what happens when uh, as soon as that spring, I got to pry up on that with a screwdriver again, get her straight, like the intake right there, and bada bing, bada boom, presto. That's done. There's my nice honing job, as you can see. Valves are all nice and clean. The red stuff is automatic transmission fluid. I cleaned it out really good after I honed it. There's my bearing. There's the uh, lifters. Um, the cam's not in yet. Of course, I'm putting in the valves, so I'm not gonna put it in. But uh, here's my two dyno cams, 95-3 grind. You can see if the camera will pick it up. There's the numbers right there. You can see it slightly. But uh, both the same cam, dyno cam. So I got two, both in good shape. Alright, make another vid when I get her running. Alright, peace.